the Blue M EC 366E WAS oven. Open the door here. Complete complement of shelves. In the back center there are the sensors. Uh, those are for the over temperature and the and the standard temperature monitor monitoring. It's powered by three phase, three phase two oh eight. Once that power is applied, you hit the main power switch here. It's just chamber power, but it's the, it is the power from the entire unit. Comes up and powers on the controller. Now, once you start the heat, you can see it's approximately the temperature that we're at. And once it starts heating, if it does not heat, it would indicate that one of the phases is incorrect. So by reversing two of the phases, uh, the unit should then be able to heat and be uh, wired correctly. The reason for that is that the blower fan is not working at peak efficiency unless it's in the proper phase. So, needless to say, we have a pilot light here. We have the main controller here. We have our over tank here. This unit can heat from 15 degrees above ambient to 316 degrees centigrade. So I'm going to increase this. While, that, while those numbers are ramping up, uh, this is set for PID control. Uh, has basic PID parameters entered. These may need to be adjusted depending upon your um, application. So you can see I have it set for maximum. Maximum we can go to is 316. Well, you can, I don't know if you can see it, but there should be a flashing period here. When I hit enter, that period uh, will go solid. That's the indication that it's accepted the number that you've put in. Otherwise, after 15 seconds, it would time out and just go back to what it was before. So we're set at 316. You can see our temperature is increasing. Once it reaches there, we'll come back and I can show you that it's sitting at 316 and controlling. As you can see, the oven has heated up and we're hovering right around 316 degrees C. And you know, as the PID uh, controls It'll vary a little bit, but it's well within specifications. Uh, another thing I didn't point out before, over here is your uh, chamber and flow, uh, chamber flow and purge adjustment. Um, all you do is uh, have your input in the back, which we'll, I'll show you, and then you can increase it and see your flow right here with the ball valve if this is something that you um, need, to, to, need to use. In the back here, these are your differential air controls. This is what determines your airflow, which in turn is, is governed by your speed of your fan, which has to do with the phasing that I talked about earlier. So if the fan is not efficient, uh, it's not going to give you enough airflow, and you know that the phases are out. This is covered in the manual. Um, but right here, and this is your input to that uh, purge flow through the cabinet. And on top in the center there is an exhaust if you wanted to use it. Um, you do have to be careful on how you hook that up because you don't want to create a vacuum effect where you're pulling heat out of the uh, oven and it may have a more difficult time controlling. But it's usually not an issue, but it also covers that in the manual. And your sensors uh, from the controller, this is the wiring and the sensors into the back of the oven that I pointed out before.